So we'll see our first three bet here. At a smaller blind size, I'd make it a little bit bigger. I was going to say, I've, I've been sizing up my three bets. I've been surprised some of the hands deep stack is called three bets with in position. Yeah, no, it's very sticky. It's very sticky. Um, it'll also be sticky on the flop, I've noticed. So this board is, uh, I think I think deep stack will hit this board in a lot of ways. Um, I think it'll call 2100 with a lot of with a lot of hands I wanted to call with. Uh oh. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> um so against a lot of humans I would bet here ex and and happily check raise. Uh here I think I should close my eyes and bet again. Um I'm not ready to check fold. I don't think check calling will be particularly great. I think if I bet, I can get calls from a lot of hands I'm I'm ahead of. Let's see, so if I bet that much, if I bet that much, then I set up a river shove on safe rivers. Sounds good. And if it shoves on me, I think I have to call. Hey, it shoved on me. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I, I, I was not, but yeah. Good game, deep stack. Ooh. <laughs> it's, all right. One, one, one for deep stack. So, uh, you know, good game. Good game. Um, the Boston Debate League is $50 richer. And we will move on to match number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting, right? Like, I feel like I learned something about poker just now. And I'm moving all in. Ace nine offsuit, especially if we have people tuning in who are not. There we go. I won. Yeah, the there we go. Nice work. Interesting okay. that that's a, a limp call for deep stack on the button rather than just a shove. That's very interesting. So I, I lived to, to match three. The deal was I only got to play three matches if I won at least one of the first two. So I get to play the third one. So hooray <laughs> for that. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Can I just kind of say <laughs> that deep stack is raising me with six big blinds? Yeah. Uh, I could call. Calling is possibly defensible but i would rather just move all in give him a stop and go <laughs> wow what have I done either way? all right yeah. all right it's been a pleasure i don't know why deep stack did that i really don't um one more discussion question um again thank you all it's been an absolute pleasure uh thank you andrew thank you alberta folks uh, certainly thank you to everybody watching and uh, hundred dollars from me to the Boston Debate League. I am looking forward to to paying that bet off. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Well played. You got it in good, and uh, the mo the most important poker skill of all is sucking out. And Deep Stack does seem to have that in space. <laughs> uh, just someone on the stream had uh, had said that it would uh, be interesting to see Deep Stack's ranges. Um, and one of the things we had contemplated uh, was was what if Deep Stack, while it was playing, uh, announced its ranges. Uh, we have to think about how it could do this, but but generally the premise is that if it's trying to do optimal game theoretic thinking, that it should just be able to uh, tell you exactly what its range is, and you shouldn't be able to gain anything from that. I'm just right. curious how how would you would you think about um, would you be able to use that information? What what would you think if that was somehow uh, available? Um, I, I would like it. It would be very difficult to absorb in real time. I think that's been my experience looking at. I and mean, you guys are probably aware there are some kind of consumer facing. Uh, GTO solvers out there, and it takes a long time to parse. If you look at uh, a solution, you, you it, it just takes a lot of work to make sense of a single solution. So it might almost just be overwhelming. I mean, we certainly couldn't do a match like this and and try to make sense of all of that. I'm going to be trying to check raise all in here. We'll see if it lets me get away with that. But I, I would find it fascinating. I just uh, I think it might be overwhelming as well. Okay, one for the AI. Yeah, well, yeah, I, thanks to you and Nate for both showing up and doing this. This is awesome. Uh, we're really excited to finally have it. You know, yeah, playing we're, out in public. We're, uh, we're really honored to be asked, and um, yeah, this is this is uh, fascinating for us for a lot of reasons.